Hi, Hi guys! In today's video, we're going to be sharing with you guys about our latest addition to our home entertainment system. And if you guys watched like one of our first YouTube videos, you would have seen that we renovated our house and we had a living room with a TV console. But, but there's we didn't no even, TV. Yeah, we didn't even have a TV. We didn't even have a proper sound system and whatnot. We yeah. only had a projector. And a Bluetooth and, speaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think it's like an improvement that we make along the way. Mm. And I think that's what life is all about. Like, even recently, we also did our own like self-proclaimed home home improvement program <laughs> HIP yeah, 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 yeah where we changed like door handles that were spoiled for many months and yeah. light bulbs that we didn't get fixed for like one year plus you know yep. in the past when we got our TV we always watched uh, just a TV with the speaker from the TV itself and then sometimes you know when you watch a movie right from Netflix uh, you can hear the background music very very loud then after that you have to turn down the volume yeah because at night watch movie, you don't disturb the neighbors, right? <laughs> and then after that, the actor and actress, they start to speak. Then they talk like that. Yeah, then we have to turn up the volume again. Uh, then after that, then suddenly the helicopter flies <laughs> past, then the, the car drive past, then the suddenly very loud again. So we have been like facing this issue for, for the very, very long time. Lah. Honestly, I didn't know this was like a speaker issue. I thought like everybody has to do that. Like when you're watching a movie, your remote control is just at the side and just going up, 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 up going up, down. Up, down. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was a normal thing for everyone. Until Sean like educated me and told me that this is a speaker problem. Lah. And if you have a proper soundbar, actually this will not be an issue. And after we started using this soundbar from Creative called a Sexify Carrier, we no longer face this issue where we have to like turn on the volume and then uh, lower the volume mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I think we've been using it for about two months now, so I think it's appropriate time for us to do a review. And recommend you guys. So first off for me, uh, horror movie nights really got a lot scarier because the audio yeah. is so much more realistic now. Previously, I knew that the sound was coming from the TV and <sighs> then, you know, it, it removes the fear factor a little bit. But mm. now it's really like immersive and I think that is really quite scary. As of in the past, when I watched horror movies, it was already like this. Like I would take the pillow and cover and look at the subtitles only but now the audio is now so realistic. Have to do this I have to like this in my eye, I have to like that. <laughs> okay, you all know what soundbar is, right? Soundbar is just like one, one long long thing. <laughs> one long long bar, okay, where you put it uh, below your TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, like on the TV console, that's it. So the reason why like nowadays, right, soundbar is getting more and more in demand than like uh, those like 7.1, 5.1 speaker is because of the installation. like. If you are doing renovation, then you can easily get a contractor to come and install like wow, speaker 1, 2, 3 behind and then another side here. So you have to put all the wiring and stuff like that. But soundbar, right? You only need to just plug the power and then just put the soundbar below the TV and then uh, that's it. So it's really good for us like, because our home renovation is really yes. long done and we're not going to go through any big renovations anytime soon. Mm. So installing a soundbar is a lot easier. Yeah, so this Sexfy carrier, right? It comes with one soundbar which is really, really small and compact, okay? Plus, it comes with a subwoofer. Mm. So you can listen to the bass, like the boom, boom, like that. <laughs> really, well, I like yeah, the bass. I know, I know. So last time when we watch TV, right? You hear the bass, nothing one. Yeah, nothing now the floor watch. like moves. Uh, you the can floor feel will the tremble. <laughs> so the soundbar, of course, they need power. Mm. And then we just connect HDMI to the TV. And then the subwoofer, just power it up and then they will connect to each other wirelessly. So you don't need to pull any cable for subwoofer to link to your soundbar and then soundbar link to your TV. So just soundbar to TV, then you can just install everything really. Other than linking to your TV, right, there are also various of options for you to connect to your like laptop, uh, your gaming console, uh, like your Xbox or your PlayStation, and then uh, all the way from like USB, USB-C, HDMI to Optip. There's also a phone application for you to download from the App Store mm -hmm. where you can use it to calibrate and optimize the soundbar. Like for us, right, we adjust how far is it away from where we are sitting and then what's the height of it so that they can give you like the best like surround sound system that you get. So this x carrier is actually a Dolby Atmos speaker system soundbar. You know the one where you go to the cinema and it says, all around you. Yeah, yeah then the boss so like, doom, 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 to make yeah. you feel all the bass and everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, so this has the function. Mm. Basically, right, this technology in the soundbar, they recreate the audio experience of a surround sound system by adding like height channel, which if you look at the soundbar, right, there are speakers facing the, the top. So they reflect off the ceiling to give you like the more, oh. the more like 
mm. all around you feeling lah. So like, let's say you're watching uh, Black Widow on Disney Plus, you probably get a similar experience than when you watch in the cinema. And you don't need to wear masks when you watch movies. <laughs> this design allows you to enjoy the same experience with placing multiple speakers all around you. So yeah, in the end, right, you save space. Mm. Okay, then you need to put like fee. bulky speaker like yeah. hanging at the back and stuff like that. Plus at the same time, right, the thing is smaller than 55 inch TV. When Sean first installed the soundbar, we were very excited and we went to YouTube to go and search on all the epic battles and all the movie trailers to like test out the sound system. First, the difference that we can tell is like all the voice, right, it becomes a lot more clear. Mm. And then when there are like action going on, right, in the movie or in trailer, right, you don't have to you lower can the feel, volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to lower the volume. You can hear the background music, plus you can hear the actor actually speaking it. And you can feel the vibration actually. Yeah. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, when you hear the bullets, uh, the helicopter. Uh, like you can feel it. Yeah. Like go yeah, around yeah, your yeah. head, the bullet. Yeah. But especially when you watch horror movie, right? You can hear the rustling of the leaves. Then hear the dog creak, like just beside you. Yes, yeah. do this. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that I like a lot is uh, I don't have to rely on the remote control itself. Mm -hmm. Once I get all the setting done, for example, I set to movie mode ready, I can just use my TV remote to turn on the TV, right? The soundbar turn on also. Oh. So when I adjust the volume, right, it actually adjusts the volume on the soundbar on the TV remote. How do you do that? The HDMI cable lor, connect to the ER on the TV. Lor. I don't know because I didn't set it up. <laughs> mm. And aesthetic-wise, the soundbar actually looks very minimal, very sleek. Mm. So I think it matches well with the rest of our house because we try to uh, keep our house as simple in terms of design as possible so it's also easy to clean. And for those that already renovated your house and you never had plans to like get a surround speaker mm. or anything else, right, you can actually consider using soundbar to enhance your movie or Netflix experience. Yeah. I think there's really a very, very big difference in it. Right now, if I ask you to go back to listening from a TV speaker or Bluetooth speaker, will you want it? No. So after we got used to our soundbar, now we watch uh, videos on YouTube on our computer, our laptop or our phone, right? Then we start realizing, oh, the audio sounds so bad. And they also have this Sex Fight Theater headphone, which is an add-on. This headphone comes with Dolby Atmos technology as well. So basically, right, it's like you put the whole soundbar at your ear, <laughs> <laughs> then you can hear everything in 360. So normally like headphone, right, or the earpiece, right, you hear, right, is left and right only, right? Mm. So this has a technology to let you hear everything in 360. They also have another application for this where they use the phone app to scan. Yeah, I was helping him scan his ear like yeah, this. Yeah, he will scan my ear, one side, two side, and then yeah. scan my face so they can calibrate accordingly. Music, when it comes out, right, it actually fits for my ear so I can hear everything from the back, uh, from the front, uh, and everything else. Yeah, so oh, fancy. The experience is really, really very, very, very different compared to like when you use earpiece and everything. It sounds exactly like when you are listening from the soundbar. And Sean uses this headphone quite often because sometimes uh, I watch movies and I fall asleep and then he's always like, he wants to watch watch the movies at like full max volume that kind right so this is when it comes really in handy if you want to give your wife a peaceful sleep and sometimes because we foster kittens and I'm in the foster room with the kittens so I don't want them to be like disturbed by the noise on the TV then mm. that's when Sean will be using his headphones so I think this comes in handy as well and uh, what I like most is I can adjust the volume immediately from here every time when I watch horror movie I normally hear from the, <laughs> the speaker right so when I use this right very scary the horror movie become even more scary <laughs> Yeah. They have to like, wow, 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 the coming already, I faster turn down the volume, turn down the volume. Then, oh, no more already, daytime already, then I turn back up the volume. What I like this is, they actually like put the left and right here, right? They write L, R here. So at night, right, when I turn off the light, when I watch movie, right, I can just see on oh, left side, right side, okay. Like that. We want to show you how it feels like, but um, we don't know how to show you guys. So we'll try and like, play movie and then we'll put the microphone uh, from where we are sitting at okay so you can listen like what we are listening hopefully you all can hear what we are listening uh. yeah. okay so shall we try it? let's go okay so this is how we normally watch movie we'll lie down on this corner of our living room on the ottoman and then uh, normally the lights are all off la, but if I off all the lights you all cannot see our face <laughs> we have a mic attached here so we'll try to like play something from YouTube is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10 point accuracy. It captures the full extent. Do you want to know my secret? 
of nature's fury. And what we realized was after we used the sound bar, whenever there's like a forest scene with like bird sound effect, our cats just run towards the window because they thought that there's really birds outside. Yeah, yeah. But previously when we didn't have the sound bar, they hear birds on TV, they run towards the TV. <laughs> so I think that's like a clear uh, difference when we see the responses of our cats. Is he stronger than expected? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Thanks for asking. Look, I almost lost you once, alright? I wasn't about to lose you again. So while we were watching the Umbrella Academy earlier, uh, there's actually still drilling going on outside. Yeah, renovation. But, yeah, renovations. But then because the I think the whole experience was so immersive, right? We only noticed after we paused, <laughs> then we start hearing, hey, there was drilling. Uh. For so, us, I could like totally immerse in the experience of the mm. show and I didn't even notice the drilling. From us, right, we can hear the music and we can hear the actors speaking very, very clearly. Then we need to adjust the volume at all. For audio files that wants to know more about the technical specs of the soundbar and sex file theatre headphone, you can actually head on to their website where they have all the, all the specs in there. Lah. I think Creative has been a brand that a lot of us know since we were young, like the Creative MP3s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And for us, this soundbar really enhances our, our movie experience and I have to repeat this a lot of time. <laughs> And for those of you guys who are slowly upgrading your home and you know you have a TV at the moment and you are thinking of just enhancing the overall like movie night experience, I think the sex file carrier from Creative is something that you guys can consider as well. Especially now when you go out and watch movie, yeah. you have to wear your mask. And you can't eat all the snacks you want. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and, and we'll, we'll see you guys, guys next time. time. Bye! Bye.